Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a Macros with Mandy video. So I am about to blow your mind with this one, I think. I don't know about you, but I love spaghetti squash. And um, I'm always trying to find different ways to use it though um, and get different flavors out of it. And so this one, I think you're really gonna love. This is a pesto spinach and chicken spaghetti squash. And um, you know what? We're actually gonna start out with something else that totally blew my mind. I always struggle to cut open the spaghetti squash to cut it in half before you roast it or bake it. And someone at work told me to pop it in the microwave for a few minutes and it softens it up. So we're gonna do that first and I'll show you how easy it is to cut it then. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna put up all the ingredients that you'll need for this dish on the screen. So that way when you go grocery shopping, you know what to get. All right, so before you do anything else, I would go ahead and heat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so here's my spaghetti squash. It is a pretty small to medium one. So I think mm, three to four minutes should be plenty in the microwave. I'm gonna put it in for three and then we're gonna see how soft it is after that. squash is done. Uh, feels, actually it feels pretty soft. All right, so it is a little bit hot. Woo, hot tamale. All right, let me adjust the camera so you can see this. I'm gonna get out a cutting board. All right, and we are going to cut this apart and hopefully it's a little bit, oh yeah, so much easier. Guys, this is amazing. If it weren't so hot, it's hard to like handle the spaghetti squash. So let's do this. Boom, it's open. Step two, I am going to scoop out the seeds and um, you can scoop it straight into the trash can. I'm gonna put it in this bowl here and then throw that away. Okay, step three, you're gonna lay down a piece of foil on your baking sheet. And I used some nonstick coconut oil spray. You could use just the regular Pam. You could use olive oil um, instead. And then you're gonna turn each half upside down and cook it in the oven for about 30 minutes, just because these are um, small to medium spaghetti squash. All right, while that is baking, we're gonna make the pesto sauce. So you're gonna take two garlic cloves and chop them up as finely as possible. We're gonna mix the garlic with half a cup of the chicken broth. I used a low sodium chicken broth. You can use just a regular um, chicken broth as well. To mix those flavors, we're gonna put them in the microwave. So for about four or five minutes, I think I did five minutes, but I stopped it early. You're then gonna wanna let that cool. Okay, then you're gonna take your basil leaves and we're going to chop those up. I used my Nutribullet, it has an attachment for like dry stuff um, to kind of chop it up. If you have a food processor, that would work well, or if you wanna just hand chop it up. You're gonna mix that with the cooled broth and garlic put it all together, and we're gonna add in two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Then blend together. It's gonna look kinda like a green smoothie at first, except a lot less, and there you have your low-fat, low-calorie pesto sauce. All right, now for the filling and to kind of throw everything together. You're going to cook up and brown the lean ground chicken. Once that is finished, you can throw in the spinach. So you just want to 
basically cook that enough so that the spinach is heated up and has started to kind of you know wilt and um, mix in with the chicken the next thing we're going to add is a cup and a half of cottage cheese um, I just did this kind of as something that would sort of help bind everything together also it makes the dish a little bit creamier to have that in there I did use a low-fat um, variety of cottage cheese to keep the fat down on the dish overall the last thing you're going to mix in there is the pesto sauce that we just made I wanted to note that all of this portion of the dish making the pesto sauce and the filling can all be done while the spaghetti squash is roasting in the oven Alright, after about 30 to 40 minutes when your spaghetti squash is done, the best way to sort of make the squash become the noodle-like um, consistency and to get the flesh out is to take a fork and just kind of scrape it along the edges. Um, you can see it string in the center of each squash. We are going to throw that into our pan with the chicken spinach cottage cheese pesto mixture that we just made and stir that in together really well okay our dish is really taking shape and we are at our second to last step so you are basically just going to evenly scoop that mixture back into each side of the squash so the peel or the outside we're going to use that as our bowl now um, this is totally optional but I went ahead and threw on some mozzarella cheese on top um, I love pasta dishes pizza things that have just some melted cheese on top I also think it just makes it more aesthetic also so I threw in some mozzarella on top put it back in the oven just enough for that to melt took it out and voila, it's done. Hello. Tell your friends it's nice to meet them. Hello. 